Deirdre Drew McCarthan, 1940 to 2007, and the man himself, Ronnie Drew. Hi guys, so today we're in um, Greystones and we're here at a cemetery to remember a very, um, an amazing singer and man. But we'll have a look at some headstones first and this one I'm going to start with. This is the name Farrell, in loving memory of Willie, beloved husband, father, grandfather and great grandfather. He passed in 2007 and his dear wife Mary, she died in 2018 and have a look at that photo. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice. Gorgeous headstone. But um, as I said, we're here to remember this amazing singer, musician and actor. Um, he had a 50 year career recording. He's better known for um, the song Seven Drunken Nights and the Irish Rover. Now that might give you all a clue. Um, he was known for his big long white beard and a kind of a husky gravel tone voice. He grew up in Dunleary. In 1995 he pursued a solo career recording with many Irish artists including Christy Moore and the Pogues. He also actually narrated many um, great Irish myths and legends. Another beautiful headstone here. A dearly loved husband, dad and pappy, Noel Rowe. Beautiful photo, really, really nice. With lovely flowers here. And Doreen Rowe is here as well, 1937 to 2019. Now in this cemetery, in this part in particular, they're actually not allowed the carving or the surrounds that we have seen in other cemeteries. So it's quite unusual for me to be walking through here to see no carvings at all. Where we have some really, really beautiful headstones. We have lots of um, Christmas decorations left out. Now this is in loving memory of Antonio. Died September 2001. And Louisa, she died in 2011. Sadly missed by all, rest in peace. And we have two fantastic photos there. Now this is actually quite unusual. We have the writing in pink for Julie Dunn. September 2017. Cherished wife. Amazing mum. And nanny. We have a cat. So Julie must have loved her cat. Brian is here as well. So it is actually quite busy in here today. So I'm just being mindful and respectful of those people that have come to visit. This is Aidan Gibney. What a fantastic memorial we have here. And also his beloved son. He died in 2012. Isn't that gorgeous? And this beautiful headstone here with the the angel lying across it. It's in loving memory of Elizabeth, Betty, McDonough, 2012, sadly missed by her family and friends. What a beautiful lady. Gorgeous, gorgeous photo. Rest in peace, Betty. But 
Look at this. In loving memory of, and that is their own hand written signature etched into the headstone. Beloved and caring husband, father and grandfather, 2013, age 75, and his dear wife, and also her amazing hand signature etched into the headstone. Be devoted mother, grandmother, and great grandmother, 2016, age 76. Rest in peace, always loved and sadly missed. And we have musical notes and chords as well on the headstone. Isn't that just stunning? Absolutely gorgeous. We will never forget you. Charles Charlie, very sadly missed by his wife Mary, sons Peter, Morris and daughter Anne, Greystones. Left us December the 26th, 1994, age 56, Mary, joined with her loved ones, the 17th of May, 2010. Isn't that beautiful? This cemetery is absolutely stunning. As I said, the headstones are really, really unique. Um, the fact that it has uh, no surroundings is quite new to me, but it is absolutely beautifully maintained. Look at that. Our devoted parents, Nano Henry and Noel Henry. That glass, absolutely stunning. And Noel was an All-Ireland Marathon Champion in 1963 and he died January 2017. May they rest in peace. That is so beautiful. Oh, we have a little baby here. In loving memory of our little star baby, Amelia Halligan Stark. Sunrise, November 2017. Sunset, 1st of December 2017. Love you always, Mammy, Daddy and Big Brother Caden. Rest in peace. Beautiful little baby. And we have some beautiful trinkets left for Amelia and a Christmas tree with a little robin. So, so sad. So sad. It's... It's always hard to read the names of babies and children and the young. No mammy or daddy should bury their baby or bury their child. It's not the way. Tom May, Tom Clark and Mary Myler Clark. Tom passed 2013 and Mary June 2000. And Tom was loved by May, and Mary was loved by Tom. Isn't that just beautiful? And they are together again, and I believe that. Absolutely, 100%. Um, the cemetery is quite busy, and, and that is fantastic to see uh, Christmas time. Is such a such a you know it's it's such a sad time for families and um I'm you know you you see it time and time again people coming to leave Christmas wreaths for their loved ones and uh, remembering them at Christmas time and. Uh, That is, um, you know, it's. I love coming to cemeteries. I love reading the names, finding out the history. Uh, we've often met families and talked to families that have come to visit their loved ones, and I love doing it. But sometimes um, you leave with great sadness. And we have another baby here, our little angel baby Jacob, Leo, Callaghan, 
sadly missed by his mum and brothers and his dad and his family and we've little cars here for baby Jacob rest in peace so those are the kind of things that you know are sad but uh, we'll continue on with um, our little walk around the cemetery and we'll end up with the man that was Irish true and true a dub true and true and a piece of Irish history I suppose you could say We'll keep going. You can see all the decorations here. Really, really nice. This graveyard is actually really, really beautiful. We have another fo more photos here. Alan McLaughlin, 2004. That's Alan. He was only 42 when he passed. Very young. The headstones here are really, really unique. Each one of them, really gorgeous. Rishtar to Mulcahy, 2016. So, in 2006, he was diagnosed with throat cancer and he died the 16th of August in 2008. So before I bring you to his final resting place, I have lovely photos here as well, Catherine Sutton, 2005 and also her grandson baby. Ethan Michael, I hope I pronounced that right, joined the Angels the 3rd of April 2012. Poor little baby. Rest in peace to Catherine and Ethan. Ethan was only a month old when he passed. Little Angel. This gorgeous headstone here lynches on the Memorial Forever in Her Heart, Dermot, Beloved Husband, Father and Grandfather, 2020. Look at that. Another beautiful one here. Jesus, I trust you. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Gahan was the surname. We have a gorgeous Christmas wreath. Unfortunately, I can't read the writing. What a beautiful, beautiful photo. So that brings us here. Deirdre Drew McCarthan. 1940 to 2007, and the man himself, Ronnie Joe, 1934 to 2008. Do you remember Ronnie? Do we remember? Will we ever forget the international friends of the Dubliners? So there you go, guys. Ronnie Drew, an amazing man, amazing artist. His voice was unique in the sense it had this kind of a gravel tone to it, like I said. In 1962, he founded the Ronnie Drew Group with Luke Kelly, Barney McKenna and Kieran Burke. They soon changed their name to the Dubliners, with John Sheehan joining shortly afterwards to form the definitive lineup, and quickly became one of the best known Irish folk groups. 
home in the rain Running up the dark lane Past the jail and down behind the fountain Those were happy days In so many, many ways In the town I love so well So guys, I was just about to leave when I was actually drawn to this area. You can see there's Christmas lights, beautiful statue, these beautiful angels and fairies. And we've names here, Sean, Chris, Michael, Jessica, Rebecca, Audric, Christopher, Vera, and David. Look at that. All under this tree. Rebecca and Jessica, Vera and Kit, Christopher, Sean and Michael, David and Podrick. And the bench erected to the memory of Rebecca, Jessica, Podrick and David by their loving family, also remembering Christopher, Sean, Michael, Vera and Chris. How beautiful is that? Rebecca wrote under the statue and it says on the tree Welcome to my garden This beautiful angel here cherished memories of her darling daughter Rebecca Died the 19th of August 1978 aged two and a half her darling son Podrick 7th of April 1987 and of baby Jessica who died young So beautiful. And just here we've Christopher Kit Walsh, loving husband, dad, granddad and great granddad, August 2011. And his loving wife, Vera Walsh, cherished mother, nanny, great grandma and sister. March 2020. With the bike, we've rained here for Christmas. We've lots of robins. Amazing graves, so well looked after. And here we have Sean, loving brother, son and uncle, 2014. Love you to the moon and back. And a picture of Sean there, handsome young man. With lots of beautiful flowers, a Christmas tree. Lanterns, a robin. And in here, for Sean, we have a car. And some Christmas decorations as well. And this here is David Walsh. He was 24 when he passed in 2003. Loved and remembered for his adventurous spirit by his family and friends. We have a robin here as well, a motorbike, some Christmas decorations, and some beautiful fresh flowers. It is an absolutely beautiful resting spot. Loving memory of Christopher Walsh Jr. Died October 2019. Always loved by Mum, Marie, Monica and their families. And they are just like little remembrance gardens. So beautiful. Such love and care gone into remembering everybody here. And the Christmas lights lighting.
this cemetery is probably one of the most um, beautiful cemeteries I have visited. The memorials are so unique. Um, the plaques, the flowers, the little trinkets. This was Oliver. Oliver passed in 1981 and he was just five. Good night, sweet prince. And flights of the angels sing thee to thy rest. And we have another little angel beside Oliver. Let us not grieve that they are gone. Give thanks that they were here, the Flanagans. Paul Flanagan, born in 1980 and died in 1981. He was only a few months old and another beautiful little angel for Paul. Our dear father, William O'Connor, died 1971, aged 62. His wife, Catherine, died February 1991, aged 74. Liam O'Connor, May 2017, aged 77. And Paul O'Connor, 2019, adored by his wife and his children. And we have a fantastic photo there. And that's it really guys we came to see Ronnie and pay our respects and we have and we've read some headstones along the way so to everybody here rest in peace rest in peace Ronnie and your dear wife and with that being said guys take care God bless and I will talk to you soon